more rain to come in a little bit later on tonight. Now, meteorologist McCall Vrydags is also keeping a very close eye on the water levels, and she joins us now. And McCall, there are some concerns about this new wave of heavy rain. We are concerned about that, Eric, and if you look over the railing here, you can see the bike path is still underwater this afternoon. Yes, an improvement from yesterday, but not enough before that rain gets here. You can see the gazebo across the Great Miami is still underwater as well. To give you some perspective, as we continue to pan downstream, you can see just how swollen the river is this afternoon. We do know that the river is running at about 27 and a half feet. That is two and a half feet below action stage. That's when the river is near or slightly above its banks, which you can certainly see here. Rain will develop later tonight and not let up until late Friday. There is a delayed reaction, though, from when the rain begins till the, rain, uh, the river reaching its crest stage. This is part of the river that will peak close to 31 feet sometime on Saturday. That means not only will the bike path and the gazebo be underwater, but some local roadways that run along the Great Miami will also be underwater. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll talk about which roadways will be impacted and for how long. Live in Dayton, meteorologist McCall Vrydax, News Center 7.